Hey guys, EBP Man here. Now, if you're in the market for a 3D printer that prints fast, we're talking about ultra fast and still has great quality, well, you're gonna wanna watch this video because today we're gonna take a first look at the FL Sun V400. Now, this is an early release version, so it's gonna be a first look. And I have to tell you, this printer prints fast. So fast that we're talking about, we've been running prints at 400 millimeters per second plus and we've been getting fantastic quality. We're talking about a 17 minute Benji and getting quality like this. Take a look at this print. This is absolutely gorgeous. We printed this at 400 plus millimeters per second. And I'm telling you, I can't see layer lines. This thing looks spectacular. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the FL Sun V400 is a fantastic printer. It's gonna give you a large print surface. We're talking about 300 by 410 millimeters, which means you're gonna be able to print cosplay helmets. You're gonna be able to print large items like this one that I shared with you right here. Lots of opportunities for stuff at a fantastic speed and still having great quality. Now, a lot has changed with this printer as you compare it to the Super Racer, which we've had also. This is a direct drive by metal printer, right? The actual extruder is, is different, but different in a good way. Also, you're going to be able to heat things up to 300 C in the nozzle and 110 on the bed, which is going to give you the ability to print some different materials that you couldn't with the standard Super Racer. Now, in addition to that, it has clipper, uh, Wi-Fi capability, so you can actually uh, print things from phone, tablet, anything that can launch the browser. It does have webcam support, and one of the things I love is it also includes time-lapse capabilities. So all you gotta do is plug in a compatible webcam, and you're able to see what's going on, and you'll also be able to see time-lapses or record time-lapses. Now, because of that temperature that we talked about, 300C and 110, you also then have the support for PLA, PLA+, wood, mm -hmm, ABS, PETG, PC, and nylon. Great, great opportunity when it comes to printing things that are typically uh, require higher temperatures or could be very abrasive. Now, the other thing I love about this printer is that it has an integrated LED. Uh, the display itself also is a huge tablet. Let's go take a closer look. I'm really excited about this first look. It's probably one of the best printers that we have opened in a long time that have worked out of the box, and I still consider it a pre-production version. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, so now we're going to take a closer look at the FL Sun V400. And I'm telling you, this is a tall printer, uh, one of the tallest printers that we've reviewed on the channel. And not only is it tall, but it operates, it's, it's fast. Uh, my tests have been anywhere from 400 plus um, in our prints. And as you can see, this is you know traditional Delta printer, looks just like the FL Sun Super Racer, except it has some major differences. So let's get closer and we'll see what's changed. Now the very first thing we're gonna take a look at is the build plate because that's part of the story here, not just the speed. You have a very large and generous build plate that's gonna give you the ability to print some really spectacular large items, including, let's say it, cosplay helmets. And I just wanna show you what 300 by 410 is gonna give you. So here is a Stormtrooper helmet that we're just gonna put right here on the build plate. And I just want you to see how much space I have left. So definitely have enough clearance going all the way around you can see that right there, in on the sides. So, and from a height perspective, no problem whatsoever. And this is gonna fit an adult. So think about the possibilities with this printer. Uh, that coupled with the fact that this prints super fast, 400 millimeters per second. We've been able to print a Benchy. Uh, the fastest Benchy was, I think it was 17.5 minutes. And we're gonna see how that looked. Now this is a bimetal direct drive extruder that is gonna allow you to print temperatures up to 300 C. And that's gonna give you a lot of print options. And as we continue to go up, you'll notice that we have a filament detection right there. And then as we continue to go up, uh, you basically have your filament spool up on top. And I have some stuff right there that uh, I've been using for leveling and things like that. Uh, but traditional Delta printer, uh, great, I would say, print assembly here. And one of the things that I'll, you'll, you'll see in a couple seconds, actually, is how quiet this printer is. Now, the other standout feature is that you have a very large tablet-like display that has, on the side here, it has multiple USB connections, right? So you'll notice right here, here's one that's coming in that's gonna supply connectivity to the printer. And then you have two additional ones. So you can connect a webcam 
and then also uh, you have an additional free port to load files if you'd like to do that. You also then have here at the very top, and we'll bring this over here, you do have a micro SD port as well. Now, I've been testing out uh, the webcam. Uh, I'll provide an update on that a little bit later. But this is running Kipler. It has, um, in my opinion, a great interface, something that's very simple to use. You have home takes you home. You can see right here they're telling you uh, what your extruder is and what your heat bed is. And then what you have is the ability to uh, set your temperature. So if you have your preheat. And one of the things I want to highlight is how fast this printer preheats. It's one of the fastest printers that I've seen. So we're going to go ahead and hit PLA. And I just want you to watch that number, how fast that heats up. Very, very fast. And Again, the benefit here is that you're going to be able to kick off uh, a print really quickly. So I'll continue to describe what's going on here on the screen, and you just take a look at that temperature for both your bed and then also your, your nozzle. And, you know, one of the things that I'll say also is that sometimes I've seen in some printers where the extruder or the bed, actually, the bed starts first, then the extruder heats up second. And you'll notice how these are nicely heating up at the same time. You do have ABS, PETG, and Flex. Uh, material um, printing and then you could go ahead and actually work on some settings here. Uh, the other thing that the printer does have is if we go into actions for example you do have an LED light that we can turn on and you can see how much it lit up the area. I really like the fact that it has an embedded um, LED. Uh, look at the temperature 147, 42 right? 155 now. Very 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 fast. You have the ability to move um, you do have, the, from an extruder perspective, you can determine if you will go and extrude, load, unload, retract, and work with your temperature settings. Look at the temperature again, 194.45. That is really good, that speed right there. You can go into um, console. Uh, you can disable the motors if that's something you want to do. There are also some macros that you can work with. If I go into, let's see, we're already here. Let's go back in configuration. And then this is where you do your leveling. So you're gonna do your auto bed leveling. Look at the temperature, guys, 218, 219, 49. That's fast. Uh, you can set your limits, and we'll go in there so you can see what that is. So these are all the velocity. And you'll notice here uh, the max velocity for acceleration and you know the things that are going on that you can play with a little bit later. Uh, you then also have your Wi-Fi network. So this is a Wi-Fi configurable device. I have been sending uh, print jobs to print, doing it through actually Kira and sending it directly. Now, this does have a great web interface uh, that you can use from a PC or from your phone. So that's the other cool thing as well, that I can actually download a file uh, that has been sliced, right, and then upload it to the printer and print from my phone, or I could do it from my desktop. Uh, if you go into your system, uh, you'll be able to go ahead and look at the version of the software that you have. So you have, so you can see the Kipler software, the version, everything is up to date, and this printer, can do time lapses. The software does allow you to do that, and if you have the right webcam, you'll be able to just plug in a webcam and do a time lapse as well. Now, when you're going to print, you have a couple options on the print side. Uh, first of all, these are the files that I've uploaded to the printer, so the printer does have onboard memory, and I can print these again. And the neat thing about this is if you're doing jobs that are recurring jobs, once you start a print and it completes, you can also run the job, you know, just print the same file over and over again just by hitting the button. Uh, I can have access to the USB, and we're going to go ahead and hit that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of my fastest configured benches. And again, I'm using Cura version 5.0 uh, with this uh, printer. Now, I've been doing a lot of testing, so you'll notice that I have different speeds with my Benchy. Uh, this is my latest file that we've tested. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this one because this is the one that I'm going to print. This should be my fastest Benchy. Uh, hit print. And again, this is going to be a 17.5 minute Benchy. We're going to go ahead and just bring it so you can see kind of like the, the starts of how things go. Now, in addition to the speed, one of the things that you'll also find is that this printer runs relatively quiet. So we're going to bring in a sound meter so that you can see or hear, and in this case see too, uh, what the sound looks like. So we're going to go ahead and start this up. It's already gone down. I'm going to bring in a sound application. And you'll notice that it's going to go ahead and start printing. That's pretty crazy. Watch that speed. And that fast, let's get a little closer so you can see that and how fast that's going. Now, it is incredibly fast. Make sure that things are coming out in focus. Now again, this is a 
the fastest tuned benchy that we have at this time. And if we take a look at the noise now, keep in mind that it's going pretty, pretty fast. This is the type of noise that you're getting from it. Let me stay quiet. So most of what you're going to get out of the printer is going to be white noise and, and you do hear the actual print uh, head actually making the noise as it's, um, it's not even so much extruded, it's really the, the fan itself. Uh, so far that is 6% of the Benchy has been printed already just in what you're seeing just in a couple of minutes. I'm going to pull back a little bit so that you can actually see some of the times or the actual speed. So you'll notice how this is going to jump anywhere from 28 um, all the way up to 600, 400 millimeters per second as it's moving around and, and doing its deal. So the nice thing also about this is that the prints are absolutely fantastic. Really love the print quality, uh, even though you're going at, at a speed like this. We're really going to be testing this out, printing like a full helmet, some type of helmet, because we're really curious about um, how well it can sustain these speeds and then also the quality. It's just, again, um, while this is not a full review, this is kind of more like of a forced look because uh, this is not available yet and I'm sure there's going to be firmware updates and things to improve things. I'm identifying um, some small bugs with the FL, FL Sun team. This is probably one of the most solid printers that we have tested that is, I'd put it somewhat in the pre-production um, category, even though it feels like a very complete product. Now while the printer continues to print and you can see the overall progress, now it's hit 16%. I want to share with you some of the prints that we've put through the printer. Uh, so the first thing that we have here is a torture toaster and it actually uh, turned out pretty well. Uh, you'll see right here that all the parts are moving nicely. Um, it's functional, right? And this was at the same speed. We're talking about 400 millimeters per second using the same profile. Um, if we look at right here, this is still functional. The one area where we found that there was a failure is here, but I'm sure I can correct that because those are not moving. But, and also some stuff going on down here in the bottom. But I'm really happy with the speed and then how that torture toaster came out. Now this is another print that we printed this same speed, right? And you can see the speed right there. It's going 28 millimeters, 600 millimeters, 400 millimeters, and it's jumping back and forth, right? And again, look at how fast we've gotten with the Benchy. Uh, over here you can see this part that we printed. Look how clean this is. This is spectacular, especially going at that top speed. Super duper clean. Um, you know, it's just, it's just fantastic, I think. And also, this is a print in place part. So this, this part right here, you notice how it opens? So this is a broom holder, right? Holds it in place. Print in place. Absolutely fantastic. Now we did print several benches as we were doing our tests. And again, this one's going to be printing at that speed that you see there. Uh, we did some additional tuning and tweaking. So this is what the Benchy actually looks like. You know, look how clean that is. First layer is really nice. I'd say the only thing that I'm seeing that we could do some tweaking on is at the back here. I'm not really getting uh, the name that pops up. But everything else in the Benchy, you know, there's some wisping right there. Some, All right. But besides that, pretty sharp. Now we also wanted to see how tall of a print, and I think I have some XY cubes. Let me grab in here. Uh, yes, we do. So here's some XY cubes. Look how nice that looks. All right, very nice. Good quality, dimensions are great. And then I'm gonna pull back for a second so that I, I can show you uh, a vase that we printed. So we're gonna pull back a little bit. So just join me with this for a second. We'll still keep that in view so you can see what's going on. And you can see how much of the Benchy, 28% of it's already been completed. Uh, this is something else that we printed. Absolutely gorgeous, look at that. I am so, it's, it's so impressed. This is again, at that 600 millimeters per second. Fantastic, I really haven't been able to find layer lines in this. It is so, so good. So. Uh, for our first look at this printer, uh, this is a fantastic, fantastic printer. Really, uh, if you're really considering getting a Delta printer, if you're a fan of Delta printers, or if this is the first Delta printer that you would consider, I, I have to say this is a solid, solid buy. I, I give this a double thumbs up because the experience out of the box has been so positive. 
So guys, that wraps up our review of the FL Sun B400. See you in the next one.